And here we go. Okay, everybody, welcome back to PC War Room. Uh, as promised, uh, brought my friend in. We have been gamers and friends now for about 10 plus years. And <laughs> has, it, has it been that long? No. I thought it was, thought it was longer than that. Uh, it probably has been. No, um, I'm sure it's been longer than that. <laughs> probably. Yeah, you rub off on me a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, but the right way, not the wrong way. Oh, yeah. 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 But anyway, no. Uh, want to <laughs> to uh, continue our discussion on the, uh, you know, the supposed one-sidedness of cheating now. Uh, <laughs> my friend's name yeah. over here is Ethios. It's what we call him. Hello. Uh, hello, hello. And he is actually a console gamer on the Xbox. And you guys already know I am a PC gamer. So we're keeping this uh, legit as possible. So there isn't no one one way bias. Um, yeah. So by the way, I hate any kind of form of cheating. Um, it pisses me off uh, to no end because if you can't play a game without cheating, then why play a game? Well, I mean that, that's the entire point of all this. Uh, you know, E hasn't had a chance to watch the prequel to the video, uh, but I have filled him in a little bit. You know. It's just, it, it's totally bullshit that people want to one single out a single entity over things that have been going on for years, even in the console industry. Um, you know, we're not, we're not going to be pointing the finger at, you know, so much as Activision or Infinity Ward when, you know. Although they allow it, they allow it. Just which saying. they do. They just do saying. allow it. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> they allow a lot of it. But, you know, we're also wanting to confront the main companies, which is Microsoft, Sony, and, you know, they sell off their rights to other companies to make modded controllers. But yet... EvilController.com. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> yep. And, you know, we're tired of it. Uh... E and myself, we, uh, you know, the last few weeks that we have played Call of Duty, and one of the great features I do like is the the ability we can see what platform we're going up against. And it's cool. I like it. For the last week, you know, I have been literally the most single PC gamer out of 150 people that's in the group. <laughs> that's funny. But yet, you know, we're the cheaters. But how many games have we played the last week and we've caught how many people? I, I literally report anybody that is suspicious of um, modding or you know controller hacks or whatnot usually you can determine whether they're cheating by not seeing a kill cam or you know something of that sort uh, not all the times you're gonna get a actual kill cam I get that I know that but the the one main thing that really bites me is when you get somebody that has an LMG and every every dang shot is on target, I know that an LMG is not going to be that accurate, and that that you know that's a telltale sign that they are using some kind of um, drop shot or aimbot or something like that that comes with an, a, a controller that has been modded. So that's that's my whole take on the whole situation, you know. So yeah. Well, I mean, it, it, that's uh, that's exactly the point, though. I mean, who are we playing against? But well, yeah, well, there, it's it's well, most of the controllers are set up for your console gamers. Um, I know of a ton of people that I've been playing with that have, you know, sure, you're going to have a scuff controller or you know some kind of controller like that, but it, it's console, it's console. 
right? So we're not having a lot of PC guys that are out there, you know, you know, bending the curve because they already know that, you know, they're already going to be looked upon as cheaters um, when they're not, even when they're, when they're solely playing just for fun. Like, everybody should be, you know, and, and, and that's the thing is, is, is we're, we're getting into the, the whole, you know, well, it's the back, back and forth. He said, she said, well, you're a PC or you're a console. Oh, well, you're a PC, you're a hacker type thing. All right, everybody knows that there are the guys that are out there that do the, the evil shit that they do as far as a PC goes. Um, and nobody freaking looks at these, these knuckleheads that go and spend 300 fucking dollars on a modded controller that has a 64 gigabyte hard drive in it that they can actually download stuff to actually get an edge on in a game. And we're talking drop shot. We're talking speeded up firing rate. Um, rapid all these fire. kinds of things. Yeah, rapid fire. You know, all these things that are going to give you an edge. Hey, why don't we just get a controller that you can, all you can set it and forget it and just set it down and, and let it play the fucking game for you. Let's do that. Why don't we do that? You know, that, that's that's what we're getting to. You know, it, it, it takes the fun out of actually competitive gameplay, and we have a ton of people doing it. I mean, and, and it's not just Call of Duty, guys. No. I mean... God. That's why I stopped playing Halo. Exactly. That was the point I was getting to make. I mean, you know, <laughs> we that's how long we've been friends, is back from the Halo yeah. era. So, you know... It, when you're playing, you know, the the actual modded controller really didn't take effect until, what was I think, um, Halo 2, really? Because that's when the jump shots really started coming in and SWAT. And yeah. I, I, I think I, it was Halo yeah, 2. Yeah, probably right about that time. Yeah. I, I, know that, I know that we played a lot of old school Call of Duty. Um, I don't... I, I remember playing a lot of old school Call of Duty, old school, old school. Um, like we're talking uh, our finest hour, old, oh, and yeah. probably the one before that one, um, when they actually decided to go full scale as far as you know online gameplay. Actually, when they when they actually had a game lobby that you had to fill up, and there was an actual you know a lobby leader. <laughs> And everybody yeah. thought that he had a, an e edge because he was the actual, you know, leader of the mo of the actual game lobby. I thought that was kind of funny, but well, I mean, anyway, I, I mean, yeah, I mean, it, you know, the modded controllers have have increased, you know, a lot in the recent consoles, and you <laughs> know, and, and it's getting worse, but you know. Here's the point of the matter: is now the console players have a, basically an escape goat. Now, don't get me wrong. Um, PC game, uh, PC players, some of them, yeah, they, they will take advantage of it to the full extent because you know most PC gamers are bored. <laughs> and, well, and yeah. you know, and they want to try and you know do something different and break the curve. And so I'm not saying that all PC gamers uh, or all console gamers are cheaters, but oh, God it, no. it, it, but it comes down to the point is now with crossplay, uh, it gives the console players and the modded controller users another uh, escape goat. Yeah, oh, and yeah. It and you know. PC gamers t get more of the, you know, this is where the wars come in. You know, mm -hmm. there's always yeah. been a PC and console war from the get-go. And... Yeah. Oh, yeah. And well, that's, now... That was back when I was actually playing PC, but we won't oh, yeah. talk about that because I'm, I'm old as hell and, you know, that was many, many moons ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, you know, it, 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 it's just... It, it's sad because you know crossplay is a leap forward it is a way to bridge the gap and you know and and yes granted you know the channel is called PC Warring and you know my buddy is a console user 
but that's the point. We bridge the gap. You mm-hmm. know, we yeah. enjoy any game that we can get our hands on that we can cross play. We love it because we love playing with playing the games with each other. I mean, that's what it's about. And this right here, if we don't take a stand, this is mm-hmm. going to oh, yeah. cause uh, cross play to not exist. Dissolve. Yeah. yeah, dissolve. Yeah. Because yeah. No, I, I get it. developers are not going to put forth the effort when you've got this much blowback. And I and it's just, and it's sad, but you know, as a PC gamer, you know, I'm taking a stand. You know, mm-hmm. if you if you're going to, okay, I'm I'm going to go off of PCGameSN.com here, and it's talking about uh, what they're doing on Call of Duty, and it says mm-hmm. Activision and Infinity Ward have been busy responding to hackers in Warzone as of two weeks ago. The company said yeah, the company said they had permanently banded more than fifty thousand players for cheating. Yeah, but what side? Are we talking PlayStation, Xbox, or are we talking PC? This is all PC. All PC. All PC. Have they even have they even looked in the direction of console gamers? Uh, if you uh, go and, it, I, I, and I'm also talking to E, and I'm talking to you, the viewers. If you go on Google right now, and you type in Call of Duty cheating, you will, and look at all of the thre- all the posts, all the websites, you will not see a single website that says anything about modded controllers or consoles. It will be PC, 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 PC. And yeah. that's where... I'm starting to get extremely irritated. Right. So hey, I got I got a question. I'm 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 uh, talking about these these controllers. I I logged into evilcontrollers.com and, and what is a thumbstick? What is this uh, string switch? And a, a, a XAC thumbstick, 3.5 millimeter. What is all this? This is something new to me. I so it's an extra external thumbstick. For your controller? Now that I don't know, I don't have a clue on that one. Uh, uh, I'm, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm just kind of curious. Because hmm. it looks like they've got a standard scuff controller for Xbox, and it's got your your control or your buttons <laughs> down on the actual grip, but it, it's got it's a one-handed controller. Is what they call it. Huh? What? The? Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know something something different. I guess nobody had the edge with their, you know, their hard drive on board their computer or their controller, so they had to f- figure out something else. Oh yeah. But <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, you know, I'm just looking at some of the uh, yeah tactical rapid fire, improved mm-hmm. fire rate, adjustable speeds, semi auto recommended. Yeah. Drop yeah. shot. Easy on, easy off. Uh, yep, speed variable. Fast reload. Auto scope, which there's your no scopes. Yep. Uh, auto run. Auto spot. Well, and and honestly, the I mean the auto run is 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 a thing. It's uh, auto run. Auto run is in the game. I mean, yeah, you just turn auto. it on. Well, yeah, but you can. <laughs> so like. So I don't know about this game because I haven't used an auto run in it because I, I, I just run and to me, the guy is a lug. He he, he runs like a slug. Pretty much. <laughs> and, and unless you're using something, you know, one of the perks, which takes away from something that you want to use besides, you know, running faster, um, or you know, a sprint. But um, like, uh, if you go to the division, division two, um, if you're if you just double click the the left thumbstick, he just he starts to move. You just run, and then you can push forward and then click, and he sprints. Um, but he, he's a slug, guys. In this game, he's a slug. <laughs> um, it, it's just kind of weird to me that a lot of these a lot of these games. Okay, cool. I don't mind the whole auto run or whatever. 
Um, it, it's all the other stuff that they threw in there that, you know, everybody wants an edge on the game. Okay, so here's an, here's an idea. It, instead of actually going out and spending $300 on this damn controller or, you know, $100, $150, $200, um, why don't you actually invest some time and play the game the way they want you to be played? Instead of having to, you know, have a pacifier and basically blindfold yourself and walk through the game and not have to worry about anything. Um, I, I think a lot of the competitive edge has gone because of that. Um, and it has to do with a lot of millennials. And I will speak out because millennials is the problem here. Everybody was given a damn trophy because nobody could be number one. And all you number two players felt left out. So you had to go and buy a modded controller because you think everybody cares that you did it without any effort. So, yeah, that's my whole take on that. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm in 100% agreement uh, with that. I mean, you... You know, I don't... I just, uh, to me, I still really don't, I don't get it. I don't know why anybody wants to run the game for everybody else, but I guess, you know, it's just like being in school. You always had that one idiot in class. Well, and, and yeah, of course. Yeah, you know, you, know, you, have, you have that one idiot in school. And you who have thinks that they're one cool. Idiot in class, you know, but, I mean, you have. I mean, what's what's the, the split down the middle on, on one of these games now? What is it? Is it. Is it 15 versus 15, or is it 15 and 15, or is it, it's 100, right? It's 100, 100 people in the map. Well, in Call of Duty, it's okay. 150. Yeah, 150 people. So at okay, so out of 70 150 people. 50 people, yeah, so out of that 150 <coughs> people, you have, you know, a handful of guys that are actually playing the game and having a little bit of fun just because they want to blow off some steam, and then you have these knuckleheads that are in here going, oh, God, i got to be competitive. I need the edge. I need this. I need a... Oh, what? You mean... You mean to tell me I can go and buy a three hundred dollar controller and it'll play the game for me, Mom? Hey, I need this. I need this, Mom. Um, yeah. Anyway, um, I'm not going to buy a three hundred dollar controller to get the competitive edge to to be number one because it's first off it's a video game, um, and second off I'm not going to spend three hundred dollars on a, a controller when I can spend three hundred dollars on you know parts for my motorcycle <laughs> or, or something else that I might need. Well, I mean, um, it's just like I said in the first video. I mean, if the people want to sit there and post comments saying, oh, well, you know, this guy's just, you know, he's a cheater just like the rest of them. Well, let me tell you they something. They can say that all well, they want. I, well, uh, that's the point. You know, if you guys want to look at my KD, go ahead. Because I'm telling mm -hmm. you what, my KD sucks worse than a Chinese hooker with a runny nose. So, uh, I, 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 I'm telling you. <laughs> so I mean, by all means, I mean you're not going to find you. You're going to look at my KD and be like, okay, really. So I mean, you know, on and that's another thing, <coughs> which this stemmed from the old, you know, back from like Modern Warfare Three. You know, people mm -hmm. who played, you know, any type of first-person shooter. I don't care if it was Call of Duty, Halo, or. Uh, Medal of Honor, I mean, whatever. But if it was come to a first-person shooter, everybody seemed to think that their KD ratio meant the world to them. Well, guess, you know, guess what, kids? Yeah. That, 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 guess what, kids? That KD isn't going to get you laid. Yeah, that's true. That's, that's I mean, true. you know, why don't you slide up into a bar and go to a hot chick and be like, hey, lady, my KD is a 15.1. And yeah, yeah. See, see how well that's going to work for you. I want 50 and 2 on Call of Duty. You want what? <laughs> you want to go, go get laid now? Mm, yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> so, you know, but again, you know, in closing with the cheating thing, because we got one more thing we, uh, we really want to talk about before uh, we end the stream. Like I said, guys, we're taking a stand. And yes, there will probably be more videos about this uh, until oh, uh, sure uh, will be. <laughs> until we get the point across. You know, enough. Stop. You know, Activision and yeah, Infinity Ward. Listen, 
listen to us yeah, right now. That's that's the thing is 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 these these game developers those guys are the ones that that can make or break this situation. If they want more cross platform genres like this, they need to stand up and go. These guys are serious. It, it is an issue, and I'm not talking about PC, ladies and gentlemen. I'm talking about these goddamn controllers that they're freaking buying in mass quantity and selling to these guys that is allowing them to cheat. Cheat. It's it's plain, plain out cheat. And I know that they can actually detect when somebody's using these kinds of machine or these controllers because they do it and they can do it. They need to stop it. They need to put a straight nix on it and do it soon. Because okay. I want more cross platform games. I want more stuff like this because it's great, it's good business, we're all gamers, and it's not good for that kind of business. No, it is not. Bottom line. So, you know, in closing with that, you know, and this is directed straight toward uh, Activision, Blizzard, Infinity Ward, whoever the hell's doing the Call of Duty right now. I can't even keep count. Stop pointing fingers. There are multiple consoles Treyarch. Start, yeah, Treyarch. Yep. Uh, yep. You know, stop pointing fingers and start handling your shit. And start doing it more respectful than just singling out one group, period. Well, because me, me personally, I'm, I'm sick of spending 60 bucks on a goddamn game that, <laughs> that I don't want to play freaking PvP because I have all these assholes out here with these stupid ass controllers. That's me. I, I, I can't handle it. I, I It drives me up the damn wall, and I want to smash my controller. I mean, trust me. I mean, I'm right behind you, but, you know, that's just it. I spent the money. I'm going to try and get my worth out of it. Sure, sure. But, you know, I mean, it, if it, but, but at the end of the day, is it enjoyable? No, not that's, all that's the time. Why I no. play all, that's why I play a lot of freaking, you know, single-player games, because I, I don't want to play with these guys that do that. Because they take the fun out of the game. They take the fun out of the game. There's a reason I don't go into the dark zone, because there's dickheads that like to screw it over. I understand they're rogue agents for a reason, but when you have modded controllers, it's kind of hard to play. Period. Agreed. Uh, so, anyway, uh, it's pretty much done with our rant on that. Now we're going to rant about something else that's been bugging me and E for a while. And I'm not even a console player anymore. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm really leaning towards a freaking PC. <laughs> Again. Come, come to the dark side, Luke. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Our next subject, uh, which I'm going to try and keep it a little bit more shorter here. But our next subject, uh, the new console. The Xbox One X. <laughs> no, 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 get it right, get it right. It, the Series X, but okay, I have just, an Xbox okay. One X. All right. Yes, it is a good machine. Um, is the Xbox Series X worth the money? I, I'm, I'm seeing the price point plus eight hundred dollars. Eh, no, even if it's a, it, even if it doesn't cap out at 600 frames per second and they say that it's going to be 120 frames per second is it worth it <sighs> at, at that price i might as well go and buy my components and build my pc at the, there you go that's what i was getting ready to say you know <laughs> it, you know we've got this, this was this is the whole thing especially you know from the price point uh you know to the guys that are just joining the channel, listening to this, watching it, you've got a, you're sitting there, you're giving, you know, five, six, seven, eight, nine hundred dollars for a console. You know, if you're going to spend nine hundred dollars, get yourself a damn PC. Give me your money and I'll actually build you a PC and I'll send it with the freaking crumbs that are left over. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, it, well it's, here, here's my take on the whole thing. All right, I, I've I've got Xfinity X5, you know, I've got 300 megabyte or 300 download speed, and it's a weird, cute little box that has a sloped edge, 
the Xbox looks like my freaking router. I, that's, Except fatter. That, that's what I'm saying. You don't have the Series X yet. It, you no, need, I don't. You need, you need to take it. You need to take it apart and uh, put it in a, a square, a rectangular box. I'm, I'm actually thinking about going and getting well, getting my stuff and uh, seeing if I can't put my uh, guts that are in my Xbox One X into an old school see-through Halo. Uh, Halo edition Xbox. Uh, okay, I'm at the Xbox.com website looking at the uh, Series X now, <laughs> and uh, oh, yeah. and by the way, for everybody, for everybody that, that says, "Oh, the Series X," the Series in that X is means it's plural. There's going to be other actual consoles that come out in that series. Oh yeah. So don't think that it's just one. Because it's not going to be. It's going to be, you know, a slim or whatever else they're going to call them nowadays. It's yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cracks me up. <coughs> um, yeah, it says here uh, it's supposed to be designed for speed and performance. Uh, it has a <laughs> custom one terabyte SSD and CPU. Okay, mm. I guarantee you if you were to break that thing apart, it wouldn't be no faster than your Chromebook. <laughs> And I've just found out my Chromebook, it sucks. Uh, <laughs> just saying. Uh, I mean, okay, guys. You, okay, you want to talk about solid-state drives, SSDs, real quick, which I know E is probably like, oh, God, he's getting technical. <laughs> but <laughs> listen to me for a second. Your SSDs, okay, let's put it in perspective here. You're going to pay six, seven, eight hundred dollars $800 for this thing. You can go to Newegg right now, and you can buy a uh, one terabyte SSD for less than forty bucks. Okay, so how is it going to be faster? No, it isn't going to be. Uh, from what I've gathered, and from what I've uh, I've kind of quickly read up on, um, it yes. Microsoft has ditched Intel, which is funny. Um, mm. They are now going with AMD, and uh, they are d using the RDNA, uh, mm. which is actually which is actually a good thing. So I will give them you know props on that because AMD is literally cutting Intel deep. And it's about time. Uh, so I mean, they are using the Zen, the Zen two, which is uh, the third gen processor that just come out for the desktops. And it basically all you're getting, guys, on this is it's a laptop. It is a laptop version of the uh, Zen two arch architecture. Blah, blah. I can't talk. <laughs> but yeah, it, it, it's, you, you can't talk when you're not asleep. So, uh, you know. Apparently, <laughs> but you know, you can get the same speed out of this thing, out of a gaming laptop. I bought my, you know, I got my wife a gaming laptop for her work, and this thing, and, and it can pretty much uh, obliterate this thing because it's the same processor, but you're paying double. Uh. And they uh, and and here here here's the catch. Everybody's all like, "Ooh, it's 120 frames per second." Um, <laughs> guys, I want you to pay close attention to my screen. It says up to 120 frames per second, which means mm -hmm. you may not even see 120 frames. You know, it's they like they might have they might have one or two games that'll actually peak at 120. But they're not going to stay at 120. No. And, you know, it, it's like, uh, now I know, I know some of you guys ha get these in the mail. You know, those little mailers from a car dealership saying, bring this key in and you might win. You, you Do you know which ones I'm talking about, E? Yeah, I do. Okay. <laughs> if you, and, and then it says, you know, you're always guaranteed to win, like, it, it'll say like 100 bucks, but you got to read it. It says you can win up to a hundred bucks. 
that doesn't mean you're going to get a hundred bucks so this is the, this right here folks is the same concept it is up to 120 unless up the uh, unless the game developers optimize the game for 120 you're not going to get it and so I, here, here's my here's my take on the 120 frames per second this is this is this is what i i talked to about uh with and I, and i've talked with with Exia on this um if it's a signature game made by microsoft or xbox it, you're you're pretty sure that it's like you know like gears of war or halo which those are gonna probably peak at 120 frames per second they're not going to stay in that range unless they they they've made that machine to overclock which i've 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 picked up a few things from my pc bro over here uh, if, if your if your shit stays at 120 frames per second it's not going to stay there very long you know maybe a cutscene or or something like that but once once that cutscene's over it's going to drop down to 60 again because if it stays at 120 it's going to be overclocked and it's going over it's going to burn your fucking shit up <laughs> you're going to you're going to see the Xbox 360 all over again it's going to melt your shit bro you're going to get that hey hey red ring of death that reminds me yes you know because red ring of death. because they're already saying <laughs> that this thing is 12 teraflops of power i mean Okay, and then so they, here, and then they, and then they say, "Hold on, now this is even better." True 4K gaming and 8K ready. Now, mm. I want to say <laughs> one thing. Let me, let me take a drink of my freaking Corona first, okay? Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> Okay, folks, 8K, seriously, 8K, 8K? okay, 8K. do you, do you, uh, do you actually understand that an 8K monitor or TV is going to cost you freaking a price of a house, probably? <laughs> well, so, 8K has not even been, uh, you know, and, and, and the, slated yet, and we're the, just peaking up at 7K, maybe. I mean, not even, okay, not even the hardcore PC gamers play at 4K <laughs> because everybody is still at the 1080p mark. A, let's see, I think it's a 244 megahertz monitor will still run you a good one. I'm talking about either like an, uh, uh, MSI monitor or a Predator monitor, those things sell for like twelve hundred bucks. Not even some of your higher end. Even if you get a Sony Bravia, a brand new one, a sixty-five inch that has all the bells and whistles, and I don't care if they throw the maid in to do your dishes and to clean your fucking house, it's still not going to freaking hit that four K or five K, whatever they're freaking running out now. It, it won't. And if it does, it's good. Like I said. It's going to peak at the at the at the most uh, increment times, like a cut scene, uh, a dramatic scene, or something like that. It's gonna and then it's gonna drop back down. So for the for the for them to say that it's gonna run at, at those perform at, at those peak performances, yes, it yeah, absolutely, it will for small increments of time. Yeah, I mean, you're not going to see 120 all the time. And, you know, nope. I mean, you know, because, you know, now you have the Xbox <laughs> One X and it's one of the, it's supposed to be the most powerful -less console let's, out let's, other than the PS4. Let's, but Yeah, let's, let's rewind to a couple of E3s ago when they actually announced the actual X one x all right they said this will be the end all be all and we this will be the old or the last gaming console that we make okay they they worded it wrong okay it's not going to be the last one they said this will be the last one in this series so that opens up oh, series hmm. 
Series X, you fucking dickheads. Get the hell out of here and actually build us a good gaming PC that we can have for several years and not have to worry about upgrading. Maybe make it upgradable. Hmm. But then oh, it that, would be considered a it would be considered a gaming PC. It'd be if a it was gaming a, PC. Exactly. Correct. If it was a upgradable. Right. And so here, here's here's my here's my question about the actual Series X that we have going on here. Um, if it has all of this high speed, you know, end all be all, this is the gaming console that you want to have in your freaking living room or your game room or, you know, your, your mom's basement. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, is it internal or is it an external again? Because that thing's going to be putting out some heat. Yeah. Well, the, the the design it looks like they've got is they've got two fans. It's, one's underneath uh, and then one's at the top. So one's going to be an it, is going to be an intake and the other is going to be an exhaust. But I see okay, I, but, I, I see okay, a no but, now hold on hold on no, I see no, a problem no, okay, with that. I, I, I see okay, a problem. Quote 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 quote. Okay, here here we go. How many how many actual fans does your PC have? Uh, mine has ten. Hmm. So we ten, 10 fans. What the fuck? <laughs> you got 10 fans on your freaking PC. Yes, I do. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I am. I have six. I have six on the... Uh, what's up, Mama Bear? Uh, I have six running on the AIO, which is the radiator. And I have uh, four... Oh, that's right. You you've got a, a liquid cooled machine. Yes. That's right. Okay. Uh, then I have four anyway, as exhaust. The Not count from Sesame Street. Ah 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 ten. <laughs> but guess what? My my temperatures never spike past thirty. <laughs> so that's that's my that's my whole thing is is, is if this if this machine is going to be running at peak performance, and they've only got two fans on it, I'm sitting here going, yeah, I you know you know. Here's the warranty, and, and extend that warranty, and extend it a couple of more times because I know I'm going to get the red ring of death. And you, and you know they're not going <laughs> to fix that for free after they figure it out. Mm -mm. Oh no! Oh no! That's what I'm saying. But but they but you know they they say they say that you know we've got the heating systems, you know we've got that figured out. Blah 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 blah. Yeah, it's Microsoft. So well. You know. This is this is going to be interesting. Uh, I went to IGN and they actually have the specs. They actually have the specs for, uh, for the Xbox One X or the Series X. Yes, they do. And <laughs> yeah. here we go. The CPU is an 8x Zen 2, two core, two. I have eight. Dos, dos. At 3.8 gigahertz. <laughs> Okay, guess what? I have eight cores going at 3.7 that can be boosted to 4.6. Uh, so, yeah, take that. The GPU, okay, here, it, 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 now this is the graphics card, the internal graphics card. It says it's 12 teraflops at 52 CUs at 1.825 gigahertz. Okay. One, you can actually go out. And you can actually go out and buy an. Uh, let's see which one is it? It is the Nvidia 1080 Ti, which is five years old. That time out. Hey, hey, if anybody out there, that, if they don't know what he's talking about, you know, send me an email. My my email is chevydriver65 at hotmail dot com. <laughs> And I will have them explain to me in English, and then I will give you a response because I'm fucking lost. Okay, <laughs> I just want to play fucking video games here, and he's telling me about GPUs and CPUs and this and that. Just, just I want to play a game. <laughs> anyway, yeah, right. Uh, anyway. anyway, back to your, back to your. You can actually technical. okay. You can actually go Shit. out and buy 1080 Ti, which is going to be more powerful than that thing any day of the week uh and plus the die size which we we won't even go into that 
T.I., isn't, isn't he a rapper? Yeah, he used to be. But now, 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 here comes the good one. Here comes the good <laughs> one. All right. It's supposed to have 16 gigabytes of GDDR6. Ooh. 16 gigabytes. I, I do know that. Yes. Uh, guess what, folks? We haven't even reached GDDR5 yet. And they're trying to put six in it. Five, they're just now releasing five for the desktops. That's that's not to be mixed up with GTA 5. Okay? Uh, correct. That's actually the, a video game. Yeah, that's right. So don't be going trying to find GTA 6, all right? Because that ain't going to happen. Uh, well, you know, it, it, it's a possibility. Uh, but now here's what we were talking about. Frames per second. You'll love this one. Performance target is 4K, 4K at 60 frames per second, up to 120. Right, right. There's exactly. your proof. There's your proof, ladies and gentlemen. You will not hit 120 frames per second on this console. Not in a game. You, in a game. Will, well, you will be no, capped see, no. at 60. Now, see, here, here's my thing, and, and I've, I've said this a couple of times already. You might hit it in, in a cutscene or, or something yeah. like that. Load like, screen. Hey, when, the, when, the, when, the, when the actual ending credits of the game are rolling, that, that, that'll, that'll be 120 20 frames per second. Yeah. Because they want to get through them freaking, you know, they want to get through those real quick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean your 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 load screens, your cinematics. Uh, I mean, you know, I can sit here and play a game, and you know, take uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider for example. Dude, I'm maxing out my uh, my frames per second. It's going nine 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 nine. <laughs> but as soon as yeah. the game, but uh, but as soon as the game starts, I drop immediately to about 150 to 100, depending on where I'm at. You're, you right. know. If you guys think you're going to go out and you're going to buy this console and you're going to hit 120 frames per second constantly, no, you're not. What do we have for him, Johnny? He won a brand new PC. <laughs> not even a PC. <laughs> a boat anchor? Uh... Maybe a Alexa wannabe, since it is a square box. Hey, you know, you're on something there. You're on something there. Well, it's so like, I, like, I know that I know that Dell bought. Um, oh God, what is that? Uh, Alien. Yeah. So they should be pretty decent as far as well. They're not even alien anymore. They're Dell. Well, they I mean, they, they yeah they they kept the name, but yeah, as soon as Alienware sold out to Dell, or I think they sold out, or Dell just bought them. I can't remember which, but their quality did, and their stuff has went down bad. Did they just bend over for a black guy? That's what uh, they, did. they were stupid. <laughs> um, but and, take that. Mm. But I, but uh, I am going to retract my statement on the uh, memory. Uh, GDR, GDDR6 does exist, but it does not exist as uh, memory, as in memory for like the system. GDDR6 is in the newer video cards, but how they're actually implementing that into this, I'm actually afraid. Because, well, I'm sitting here, I'm looking at the specs. <clears throat> what are they using the power? Because, I mean, okay, if your GPU is 12 teraflops, okay, that's almost identical to my Red Devil. Well, that's, that's why I asked about, and that's why I asked about the power supply. The power supply is the internal, external you know, because that makes a huge, huge freaking difference. If you have an external hard dr or power supply, cool, you, you're, you're pulling away a little bit of heat from that. 
Um, but as as of the the Xbox One, well, they went all internal with with the power supply, you, which heats your shit up, and they they can't do a lot with that. Now, if they went external, they I could see, yeah, okay, they have a little more you know area to work with as far as two fans go, but two fans and an internal uh, power supply, I'm I'm worried about that. I mean, to, I gotta be honest. That, that's 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 the thing. Is are they gonna you know throw this out to customers, and the first few customers are gonna go, oh well, you know my my stuff is overheating. What's going on? You know, oh well, maybe we should have went with an external power supply. <clears throat> that's that's my thing because this this thing looks like a freaking. It looks like a smokestack, ladies and gentlemen. It looks like a smokestack, and what do smokestacks usually? you know contain heat even if you have an, an and smoke even if you have yeah, yeah smoke yeah even if you have a an, an inlet and an outlet pan you know it, it's it's not gonna work I, i'm just i'm being blunt that's that's my whole hang up with this thing it, it's it's not looking good as far as heat and you know, buy that extended warranty if you do get the the, the console. Buy it because it might come in handy. <laughs> you know, I, I mean, I don't know what they're thinking on this design. I really don't. It's I, too it's too compact. There's no. I mean, okay, uh, if you if you were seeing the picture I'm seeing, okay, it's going to it, it. It, it's going to stand up. Okay. Yeah, it's going to be upright. Yeah. One of the fans is up underneath the other. And then That's, the other yeah. the other fan is at the top. Right. Okay. Uh, I already see a lot of people complaining on this already because they're gonna tuck this thing in a corner somewhere. They're not gonna dust it out because you know it's gonna mm -hmm. suck up all the dog hair if you got dogs or it's gonna suck up all the dust. Yeah, do do us all a favor and set it on your carpet. Yeah, Especially that too. If you have shag. shag. Yeah. Shag carpet is the best for it because it'll get a lot of airflow. <laughs> right? <laughs> I mean, I can actually see people doing this. I yeah, I know, I know. I, I like I said, the heat's going to be an issue. Heat's going to be a huge issue unless they actually have a liquid cooled machine. And we know they're not going to freaking make out make a liquid cooled freaking console. They won't. Um, well, your liquid, your AIOs. Uh, they only have a shelf life. They do not last very long. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, like mine, mine's an AIO. I, it has a life expectancy, expectancy mm -hmm. uh, of about, eh, with the way I use mine, probably about three mm -hmm. to four years. Now, three and, four I, years. and I don't... Well, and next week, I, ladies and gentlemen, he'll change it out. Probably. <laughs> But no, it, it's got about a three to four year life if you use it heavy because, you know, what happens to liquid over time, especially when you're cooling, it evaporates. Usually liquid around my house gets drank. Oh, uh, we're not talking about beer. Yeah, no, 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 no. But no, I mean, it's just like a radiator in a car. You know, over time, it's going to evaporate. It, it, then, you start losing <clears throat> yes. all, then you start losing all your cooling, so... Yes, your closed loop systems evaporate, ladies and gentlemen. Check your cars. It's getting hot. Oh, it's yeah. almost summer. Just check it. <laughs> you might want to check it anyway because, you know, even wintertime, it's not good to run them dry. Right, and check the blinker fluid and blinker the exhaust fluid? bearings, you know. But, you know, at the end of the day, I no. You know, I got out of console gaming for a couple reasons. One, I got tired of being towed by corporations like Microsoft and Sony that if I want to play I have to pay so <clears throat> yeah. yeah that's one of the reasons why I bowed out but, and went back to PC gaming uh, and that's that's I mean that's kind of everywhere anymore I mean you're still having to pay to play but in, in different different ways you know and the the main thing that started that what kicked that off is your stupid Candy Crush and your freaking Angry Birds and all your bullshit on your phones. Yeah, that too. Stop it. Just 
stop it. It's uh. ridiculous. It's redundant, and it shouldn't be. If you want to make a good game, make it for everybody. And all these, I mean, seriously, what what is up with these freaking seasons and, and, and year-end passes and, and all that shit? I mean, I, I get it. They're trying to make some income. They're trying to make some revenue. But when I buy a video game, I want all of the content. Not sure. Is there is there skins out there that you know you can throw in there? All right, cool. Make it to where if they don't want to buy it, they can at least earn it and not have to freaking pay out the nose for it. That's another issue that we can get to get into because I'm not going to get into it tonight because I know you're tired. But it, it, it's it, it's getting to the point where it, it's making the gaming community just. As far as I'm concerned, it, it just pisses me off, right? Well, I and mean, I understand it's just game skins, but if it's just game skins or, or, or gun skins or, or you know whatever, hey, here's a new outfit for your character. Do you want to buy it? No, I don't. Can I get it in the game? You can earn it in the game. Okay, cool. What do I got to do? Right? There should be options there because not everybody's wanting to spend the money. On some of this stuff that you guys throw out there, but oh, hey, by the way, you know what? You can't get this gun unless you buy the DLC, or you can't level up because oh, guess what, guys? You don't buy, you didn't buy the DLC, but I bought the freaking, I bought the extended package. I bought one hundred and twenty dollars, and you're, it doesn't come with it. What's going on with that? You know? Oh, I gotta buy a season pass to go with that now. Hmm. What's going on with that? That's 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 how we robbers what that is. Well, and you guys should be ashamed of that. Well, you know, the season passes uh, that really. I tell you, one company that did that, and it <clears throat> started it, and it started following, and that was. Uh, oh shoot! Well, I don't care who did Ubi, it. Uh, Ubisoft, when they Ubisoft, came well, when when they came out when they came out with Rainbow Six Siege. That's where your season passes came in, because that son of a bitch is already in season 500 already, and it's 30 bucks every freaking year to keep it. Right. So and that was uh, I. Sorry, my my controller shut off on me. So you talk. What was it? It was uh, what game was it that, that did that? Rainbow Six Siege. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought you said. Yeah, Rainbow Six Siege, I mean, they, they take the cake when that... But, hey, they're French. What do you want? Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. But, yeah, uh, jackasses. But, um, anyway, but, you know, at the end of the day, you know, everybody's got to find their points of views, and they've end up got to... Everybody's got to end up finding something to, to step up. And, right, okay, and, so, so, so what i got to say to those guys that actually do that, Hey, here's a, here's an idea, all right? It, it, instead of actually, you know, putting out these season passes or these yearly passes, and, and they're not even really a yearly year pass. It, it's more like three months. And then you pay another 30 bucks. Um, here, here, here's, a, here's a hint. Make good content for people to be intrigued with it to keep them interested into it, and you wouldn't have to do that. Right, I don't want to buy a game and it be half done, and I have to wait for you to freaking finish, you know, a, a DLC for it. I, that, that's my thing, and, and and that's that's where all this money comes in. I get it. You you want to be paid. I get it. You want a Lamborghini or a fucking Ferrari or whatever the hell you want to drive or a big fucking house. I get that, but so does everybody else, and we don't want to spend a fortune on a fucking video game. It's bad enough that they're already 60 bucks. And, you know, and I get, I get it. You guys have a lot of freaking data that you're freaking compiling and working on. And, you know, you guys are making video games. You guys, you have no idea what, I mean, what, I mean, there's people that love to be like, be you. Making video games, doing something that you love and you want to screw people over, all right? Make a good video game, release it, 
well, make, make it make, make it make there be options. All right, if I don't want to buy a freaking a yearly pass um, that consists of um, a, a new gun or some skins or or whatever, I shouldn't have to. I should be able to earn it. But if it's a freaking good DLC where you know there's there's several levels and several different maps that I can go and actually play and explore, cool. If there's more stuff that I can upgrade and, and, and I shouldn't have to buy that DLC to actually level up. No. Uh, you know, Destiny, Destiny. Took, Destiny took that, you know, to an extreme <laughs> Destiny. Level. Yeah. You know, Destiny. And, and well, you know, I was... The best game was Halo. And, and that, that, you know, bottom line, they're, that's a whole other story. And that's a whole other story uh, it is uh, but yeah we will uh, probably go into that on the next one but guys yeah. uh, that, you know this is just our opinions you know yeah absolutely I, I, and we'd and, love to hear from you honestly I mean we need more people to rally around this I mean because I'm a gamer I am a lifelong gamer I am 44 years old and I have played video games my entire life, as far back as I can remember. You know, we're talking, you know, Atari. <laughs> <laughs> and 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 you know, it, in here in a bunch of in between. And I, I I played PlayStation, and I I rolled into Xbox, and I've been on Xbox Live for, you know, shit, sixteen plus years. 16 years at least at least 16 years and we we need to make a stand as gamers and make one games fun again as far as you know stopping the cheating stopping the modded controllers right we are we already went through that but we also need to you know hold these game developers that are freaking oozing money accountable for them not to try to bleed us dry from the money that we have and, and still enjoy a game. Um, you know, if you guys have any questions, if you have any comments, you know, we're, we're going to try to do this more and more as far as the feed goes. But we're always on plan. I mean, you know, uh, we're going to get to a point where people are going to, hey, what's your gamer tag? You know, I, I don't have a problem you know, playing with other friends, new friends, new friends, old friends. I have a list of tons of tons of friends that I've known for many, many years. Um, I, I love new friends and I'm more than happy to help play games and, you know, enjoy ourselves as far as games go. But uh, if you're a modern controller gamer, I do not want to play with you. So don't ask, don't invite um, unless you want to play legit. Uh, those those are my stipulations. And oh oh, by the way, have a headset. <laughs> yeah, we're 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 very uh, we uh, we do take uh, our games serious when we play some of the times. Sometimes we some of the times. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it's just a little too much serious. But I mean, uh, but well, no, I, but no. I mean, you know, I am the same way. You know, I love to game. I love to meet people. You know, I love to, you know, talk, chat, whatever. And, you know, but yeah, I mean, if you want to be, I mean, you know, the thing of it is, even if you want to be a part of the war room, by all means, you know, get in touch with one of us. Um, I will yeah. drop emails in, you know, the descriptions and, you know, you know, we would love to hear, you know, different points of views, you know. Yeah, absolutely. And even if it's the wrong one, even yeah, if it's the wrong one. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, but that's the, that's the entire point of all this. You know, it seems like no one is standing up and speaking for nobody, regardless if it's PC well, gamer or if it's a if it's a console gamer or you know. Well, I, I think it has. To, I think it, it. You know, there's a lot of people that need to stand up for PC gamers because they've gotten a bad rap um, through the years. And I, I, I can understand that. But I can also tell you that, you know, 
not every freaking PC gamer is 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 an asshole and 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 hawks and and hacks and mods and and you know I, I I've got a friend right here he he doesn't do that he's got a PC we play together and he's seen some of the shit that goes down as far as you know hacking or modding or whatever you want to call it with a controller um, he he's been subject to it I've been subject to it. We've we've actually streamed it, and and it, it, it's it's not acceptable. It's not. It won't be tolerated, and it shouldn't be tolerated. Um, and and, and that's my whole take on it. And and he, as a PC gamer, um, he's getting the blunt end of it because oh well, you got a PC, so you got to be modded. You got to be, you know, you're hacking. Um, but but that's not the case. And and we need to bring the light that. It's not the actual PC gamers that are hacking. Sure, are there some that do? Yes, absolutely, there are. I'm not saying that there's not, but there's I mean, more and more of these, you know, these modded controllers on a Xbox and a PlayStation than there are PC gamers because it's easy to get. Not a lot of it, it's easy to get, right? And I, yeah, like I was saying, you know, I was on, I was just online, and I was looking at some of the, the, the controllers. You know, they have one for eighty bucks. They well, have I one mean, for eighty bucks. You know, well, you, you don't know? even, you don't even have to order anything as fancy as that. You can go no, to, you can no. go to your local Walmart and get you a damn uh, a mod pack. A mod pack, yeah, like twenty bucks. That. Twenty bucks. So, and, and who, so, who makes that? I, who, who makes Mad that? Cats. It is, ma- oh. Uh, see now there's there is an actual name I know from the back in the day, yeah. Mad Cats. Mad Cats. Um, uh, Mad, Ca- yeah. uh, Mad Cats makes one, and the other company is Nico. Everybody knows Nico too. Oh yeah, Nico or Nico. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, they were known for headsets and battery packs for a while. Now they're making mods for your controller, huh? Yeah. Mm, interesting. I remember back in the day when they actually had. Um, like, uh, God, what was it? It was, uh, there was all kinds of weird cheats that they had and stuff like that. Um, if you guys know what I'm talking about, if this, this was years ago for like the, the first generation PlayStation and stuff like that. They actually had cheat codes and stuff like that that you could actually get in mod, mod games and stuff like that. So cheating's been around for, for, for a long, long time and I get that. But if you're going to be playing a competitive game, um, you know, here's the edge. Play more. Get better. That way you don't have to use a modded controller or a modded PC or whatever you're doing. Um, that, that's what we're trying to get at. We're, we're trying to get the word out there that it's not just PC. It's not just PC. Uh, and, and it's not cool. And it's, well, you know, it, I mean, it's just, it's not cool that you're going to you know, single, single one, one out. Right. Let well, the other sing, go. Singling, singling PC out is, 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 is easy. And, and I think the, the problem is, is because they don't want the cross platforming game. Um, because they think, oh, well, you know, you guys are going to cheat. No, that's not true. That's not true. It, it, it's, it's by far not true. Um, and we need, we need to fix that. You know, I, I think that it, we're on to something really, really big here. Activision has got something going on that nobody else has got going on. Um, and if, if there's something else out there that I'm missing, that, that you know, as far as cross-platforming goes, please get, in, get a hold of us and let us know. Because I, I, I think this is a really good jump forward as far as gaming goes. You know, we're all gamers. We all want to play. You know, why not play all together? You know, I know a while back that Xbox and PlayStation were collaborating about cross-platforming. And I, I think uh, Xbox went to them and said, hey, what do you think about doing this? And Sony said, kick rocks. Um, I don't know how true that is. I don't know if that's, you know, like, you know, definitive, you know, that's, that's the just of what I got. I don't know how true it is. But, you know, I could see that happening as far as, you know, cross-platforming goes. But we have a game that has cross-platforming in it. So I don't know what to think. 
You know, I mean, not only do we have the, the PlayStation and Xbox, but we also have PC gamers in there. So somewhere along the line, we've had some kind of collaboration with all three, and now we're, we're getting into that point where, okay, cool. So I can go and play with a PC gamer, and I can also play with a, a PlayStation gamer. Um, and it's fucking awesome. It, I like it. It is. I mean, you know, I, I'm not, you know, guys, don't get me wrong when, you know, if I talk, if I talk about a console, it, you know, I, I'm not the one, you know, I'm not one of those that be like, oh, okay, well, I'm on PC and you're trash. No. To me, you're a gamer, just like myself, regardless of what platform that you're on. And right. I just, I just enjoy the game. I enjoy playing with my friends. I, you know, I. He, that's the sole purpose of this. It, 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 he can't help it that he's got a keyboard and mouse. You know, I mean, I like a controller, so you know. But whatever. But, but you know, the the, the 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 thing of it is, though. I mean, you know, if you guys think that a keyboard and mouse is more superior, guess what? The Xbox supports it. The PlayStation supports it. Go grab it. Yeah, absolutely. yeah. You, there are a lot of games out there nowadays that, like my my Xbox One X, if I can throw a I can throw a mouse on it, I can throw a keyboard on it, and good to go. So, you know, at, at the end of the day, like you know, like we were saying, I mean, we would like to get more opinions. We would like to get this going a little bit better, and you know. There's going to be some discussions, uh, you know, between me and E that's probably going to get heated, and you, <laughs> and you you actually may think that uh, we hate each other, but you know, no, it, it, we are voicing our opinion, whether we, we get it, we, we, <laughs> there we go, we can get the other side of the pond going, but <laughs> you know, I was actually thinking the one person we do need that is the same way about the big companies. Uh, we need Raven. We need Wacky. Wacky Raven. Because he is so tired of the big, of big corporations. Yeah, I don't know. I, we haven't, we haven't talked in a while. I don't I know, know if he's. Uh, I think I don't he's know if he's. A lot. Uh, uh, he's working his jaw a lot. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I mean he's a console player and he is also a PC player. So he he's, actually he does both. So yeah, I. I don't know. I haven't really noticed him on a lot. I know. I know. I've got him on Facebook, and uh, I. Yeah. I. Yeah. We don't. I mean, we. Just we time zone. In the past, it's time zone differences well, are bad. Because he's almost well, like five I mean, hours ahead. So. We, we had a discussion on. <clears throat> I, 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 I hate to be. A, a, I hate to start political, but we had a, a, a debate on Trump, but. And we won't even get into that. And, yeah, we haven't talked in a while. So, yeah, there's that. But, it, it, you know, I, I, I don't think that anybody outside of the United States should even think about trying to get into our political, you know, cloud that we've got going on in America. I try to stay out of the other political crowds, clouds in other countries as well. So, I mean, we leave it at that. We're not going to try to get into anything no, political no. here. We're just about gaming and we like to have fun. Um, but, uh, I mean, like I said, if, if there's, you know, you know, questions, comments, you know, uh, if you want to be involved with us, uh, we would love that. And we will be on, I don't know, we're going to try to set up a schedule or some kind of something. Our time zones are different. He's about three hours ahead of me. Um, so we, we're going to sit down and probably hash out, you know, a, an actual schedule, whether, you know, where we can actually set it up and be on at a local or a normal time. And if you guys want to join us, that'd be great. Um, if you want to, uh, you know, be a part of this, and we would love you to be a part of this, um, you know, drop us a line. Like I said, I, I, I shot out my, I shot out my, uh, my email. If you do have any questions, please feel free to use that, and uh, get, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Um, I've got a, I've got a busy schedule. He's got a busy schedule. 
but we will always try to get back to people that are interested in what we have to say or do. Yeah, I'm going to, uh, yeah, we're going to try and do this at least maybe twice a week and uh, keep people informed on what's going on. And uh, also, I'll drop, uh, we've got a Discord. You're more than, uh, I'm going to drop a link to that. You guys can join that. Uh, you know, I've got it on my phone, so you guys can ask questions. I'll answer. So, but it's uh, a perfect time to to, dro to to drop out of this because my wife just doesn't want to jump jumping in the hot tub. So oh, guess what? I'm uh, going to go in the hot tub. Yeah, he's going to go um, in the hot tub. <laughs> so, guys, uh, uh, future reference: uh, the PC Gaming Show 2020 uh, is in June. It's Saturday, June the sixth. Uh, you can actually watch it live, uh, Pacific Time, 12 p.m., Eastern Time, uh, around 3 p.m., uh, so set your calendars to watch the new games coming out, new hardware, and uh, you can actually watch it on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. So Yeah, that's, that's, that's some good info. Also, maybe on the next one, we can do uh, a comparison as far as the, the PlayStation 5 that's coming out. I do know that the PlayStation 5 is going to be... I haven't looked at any of the hardware that, it, that it's packing. Um, the one main thing that actually leans me more towards um, the, the PlayStation 5 is the fact that their whole game library is going to be there at your disposal, not just you know, titles that they think that people are going to like or the games that, that were, like, bought in abundance and now it's a gold title, um, like Xbox does. Um, I haven't heard any um, anything about the Xbox backward, backwards compatibility as far as games go or how far back they're going to go or what games are going to be bringing back. Um, and... That, that So that right there is kind of uh, tipping the scale for me as far as game consoles go. Um, I haven't had a Xbox or a PlayStation, sorry, um, since the PlayStation 3, um, which I had for a couple of months and I actually gave it to my tattoo artist for tattoo work because I didn't like it. Uh, that being said, well, that, that was, God, that was when... Uh, Call of Duty, um, World at War came out. That was about that time. Um, and I haven't had one since. Um, so I would like some more feedback if, if people have um, some feedback for me as far as the, X, or the between the Xbox and the Xbox or the PlayStation 5. Um, I would love to hear it because that, that that's kind of my tipping scale as far as, you know, um, consoles go because you know it's right around that $500 mark and all of the games are going to be backwards compatible um, all the way to their generation one Xbox uh, which I had and I had a place or a PlayStation 2 and, and all that good stuff uh, I'm getting confused anyway <laughs> so we're talking but, about the PlayStation uh, but so yeah. that, that's that's the that's the tipping scale and I, I kind of want some feedback about, you know, should I get the, the PlayStation 5 or the new Xbox? I don't think I'm going to lean more towards that PlayStation or the Xbox uh, just because of the price point. Unless they lower the price point, I, I don't see myself buying that. I, I see myself building myself a PC, like I said in the beginning. Um, but the PlayStation 5 is probably in in the near future in my in my purchase you know realm but, so but well, give yeah, me some feedback i'd love to hear you yeah we'll we'll, we'll do that we'll do the the playstation 5 uh next go around we'll do yeah uh, yeah let's, let's, we'll, let's we'll, do we'll that. cross that uh, we'll uh, compare right. it to the xbox one x reviews and uh specs well, i don't even think i don't even think we have to you know we, we don't i don't i don't think we have to compare it because i mean it's like apples and oranges at the same at, you know yeah. at the same realm well you know this, i mean this a, true, a lot of but, but people, a lot a lot of the people like to see numbers yeah, you know they, they do i want to see the numbers between <laughs> the playstation 4 and the PlayStation 5. Um, well, we can do that too. You know, because I already know what the PlayStation, you know, Series X has. 
I mean, the Xbox Series X, not PlayStation Series X. See, he, he he's already lost it. He, he's wanting to join the the misses in the hot tub. So, <laughs> with that uh, being said, because it actually sounds like he forgot to move his controller because he's still on the console at the moment. Um, with that being said, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna start doing more and more stuff here for you guys. And like I said, we'll, we'll probably do two videos a week. Uh, they won't be as long as this one because we're already at an hour. So I may actually have to break this up. But uh, but yeah, just hang with us, and I'm gonna drop all the information that you need in all. Uh, descriptions so if you want to join discord you can join discord uh, and you guys already know my uh, steam ID so you know if you want to hit me up there hit me up there but in closing again you know the name of this channel is PC War Room and you know I'm going to try we are going to try and make it live up to its uh, namesake uh, it's 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 about time that this channel gets down basically to the nitty gritty, and we're basically going to war with anybody and anything that's uh, that needs to be done. Uh, so, you guys have a good night, and we will catch you later on. Have a good night, guys.